Salvete Discipuli, this is Help for Your Latin Studies, Henley First Year um, Exercise 64. And in this exercise, we're going to be translating some English phrases into Latin. And those phrases will likely all contain at least one noun from the fourth declension as we're just getting our, our feet wet with the fourth declension noun using this vocabulary list on page 56. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Number one says, on account of fear of danger. All right, so on account of is a prepositional phrase that we recognize that would be translated as propter. And then on account of what? On account of fear. Uh, propter is a preposition that takes the accusative. So we need to translate this word fear as a singular accusative noun. It is a fourth declension noun on our new vocabulary list, metus, metus. And according to our grammar book, the fourth declension noun endings, to make that a singular accusative, we need to apply the ending um. Okay, so our stem is met and our ending is um. So propter met um. And then of danger. This danger is a word we've had in our vocabulary in the past. That is um, periculum periculi. That's a second declension noun because of that genitive singular ending e, the i with the macron. And, um, and it's neuter because the nom nominative singular ending is um. So periculum periculi. And we want it actually in the genitive singular case because it's showing possession of danger and, it's, and it is singular. So periculi would be the correct translation of that word. Periculi. Let's do one more, number two, which says in the Senate. So in is simply translated as in, and in Latin, the preposition in takes a noun in the ablative case. The word senate is in our new vocabulary list. It's a fourth declension noun, senatus, senatus. And if we drop that us ending, our stem is senat. Um, we want this to be in the singular ablative case in the Senate. In takes the ablative. So singular ablative case has U with a macron. Senatu. Okay. So in Senatu, in the Senate. I hope this is helpful to you. Keep working through the list for exercise 64 to translate those English phrases into Latin and have a wonderful week.